I designed a LEGO camera that ejects photos and created a dozen compatible photos out of LEGO bricks. Recently, LEGO launched their Polaroid camera set, reminiscent of the classic Polaroid one-step camera. Personally, I find it to be a fantastic design. They've even customized three slim photos for it. But today, I have another version to share with you, my own take on the Polaroid camera. It's based on the Polaroid now released in 2020, and I've managed to replicate its identical appearance using LEGO. The reason behind this choice is simple, I own a real Polaroid now. In terms of appearance, I've used slopes to avoid studs while LEGO opted to leave them on the outside. Some prefer smooth surfaces while others appreciate maintaining some LEGO features. So which do you prefer? I'll leave this choice to you. Alright, I finished assembling the color spectrum. Let's place it on the top of the camera, followed by the lens. I must say LEGO did a better job in making this lens look more realistic. Now let's examine the front of my camera. The lens, shutter, viewfinder, and timer are all identical to those of the real camera. Curious about how this camera operates? Allow me to split it in half so you can get a closer look. It's equipped with the linkage system connected to the iconic red shutter button, which ejects the photos when pressed. To assemble the front and back, I've adopted a modular approach using four pins to securely fasten them together. As for the photos, over the past three years, I've created 17 of them. I think Legos are versatile, so it's only fitting that the photos themselves are made entirely of Lego bricks. First up is the iconic Mona Lisa. Having a world famous painting captured within my camera is truly special. Next, we have another masterpiece, the girl with a pearl earring. Using just two slopes, you can create a stand for the photo. When viewed in studio, you'll notice the painting appears in three layers and they provide a sense of depth. Now onto the third photo, featuring the portrait of Batman. It required a lot of wedge plates. The fourth photo depicts Miles Morales from the Spider Wars. You can never go wrong with comic book heroes. With special magnets, the photos can be attached to the fridge. By the way, I also designed an easel for displaying the paintings. Together, they make for a very perfect home decoration. This one is a mosaic painting. By using the minimum number of pixels to resemble a painting, can you tell what it is? Continuing with the same style, we arrive at the sixth photo, a silhouette of a sunset skyline. After viewing these photos, have you noticed the two major ways of constructing a photo? One method, as seen in The Starry Night and The Portraits, involves building layer by layer towards the viewer. The other method, like the silhouette, entails building from the bottom to the top using bricks. Now let's enhance the blue sky photo with an addition, the classic Mario scene. It's sized to fit the screen of my LEGO Switch, allowing you to eject it from the camera and then load it onto the Switch. This screen can also be used on an expandable LEGO desk. Returning to the portraits, I've crafted one for Vincent van Gogh. Alongside the photo, I've added a few parts to create a tobacco pipe for him. Moving on to number 10, we have a guest from Japan, Hanamichi Sakuragi. He's from the manga Slime Dog, and this photo captures his iconic pose. Next up is Ken Jongbom from the Korean TV series Reply 1998. Following that, we have the scream. And then we have a portrait of a super friendly animal, the capybara. Known as the largest rodents in the world, they have a warm demeanor. All right, get ready for the fun part. My photo frame fits a regular four inch photo. Slide it into the plate and secure it with tires. Now, can you imagine the reaction of your friends or family when you take a picture of them with this camera but show them the Lego version? You can get creative with real photos, like this one of Liu Yifei, a Chinese actress. Simply punch a hole and swap out the flower from the Lego ones. Cool, right? Want a truly unique house number? Let's design a plaque featuring Bart Simpson. With this camera, you can give anyone a cartoon makeover. Ever thought SpongeBob with his tie could fit perfectly into a Mandarin style composition? That's it. And check out this printer I made. It can print artwork photos from an empty photo frame. But wait, it's also a tissue box. 
After seeing these photos, how do you think of my LEGO Polaroid camera? Do you like it or do you have any suggestions to improve my creations? Subscribe because I make more standard LEGO photos.